how do we get beat by 50 points, bro? I don't. Oh, okay, good. It's my mom. Hey, she'll cheer me up. Hello? Boy, y'all were hot trash tonight. You just held that L, dog. You lost by 50 points. I ain't never seen that. And I've watched so much football, bro. No, you know what? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm not doing this no more. <sighs> hey. Uh, hey, Mika, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I want the fluff out of here. What do you mean you want no, out of here, I, bro? I can't do this. This is. This no, is you're good. Ridiculous. 59 to 10, bro. No, 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 we'll give you, we'll give you money. No, huh? we, no, you no, ain't going no, no. nowhere. Get, I want out. No, please. I'm getting, enough. I'm about to go start packing my bags. And... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We have a lot to talk about, so uh, let's just get right into it. this off we have some very unfortunate news and it's about Taylor Decker so I just made a video talking about trade for Trent right maybe we should trade for Trent I don't know that was just a lot of the thing that you guys were talking about a lot so I made a video about it but the thing that's going on with Trent could actually happen why because of Taylor Decker and Taylor Decker you know he was dealing with an injury and some people were saying well he's not really hurt you know he just had a bad game so now he's resting I thought that you know maybe that's the case I didn't think it was but it could have been I guess but now he's not even really practicing. Like Taylor Decker's not practicing like at all. He was limited yesterday and he's barely practicing now with that back injury. That's a problem. Terrell Crosby is playing at left tackle in practice. Deal. Look, man, I, I don't like to hate on anybody, but we literally have one, one backup tackle and his name is Crosby. That means he's going to be playing at left tackle. Now, I guess you could say maybe it can't be any worse than what Taylor Decker did, but at the same time, it could be. I mean, I'm sure it could be, and that's just not something I want to see. So I think the trade for Trent makes more sense at this point, right? The trade for Trent, that could actually happen if he's actually hurt, okay? We cannot be in win now mode without a tackle, but I think there are ways around it, you know, to help out with tight ends. I think it would be nice, though, to bring another tackle if he's not healthy. Now, I guess it just depends. He could still play, but at this point, he's not playing, and it seems like his injury is getting a lot worse, and that is a problem, okay? That's a big problem. So I want to touch on that a little bit, just to let you guys know that he wasn't really practicing. Other things, you know, we haven't really heard a lot about the other guys. The other guys seem questionable, Jared Davis, those type of guys, but this, this is a problem. Now, another guy that you guys have been talking about a lot is Mika Fitzpatrick. And now this guy's very interesting. A very, very young secondary player, 22 years of age, but he wants out. He said, Miami, I'm done. Get me out of here. Miami's like, oh goodness, great. We have to get rid of one of our best players on the team. So he wants out of there. Now, this is something that I think is interesting because he will get out there, in my opinion. He will get out of Miami. He's going somewhere. I don't think he's going to stay there. Usually when players say, I want out, they usually get out, okay? Teams don't want that around. It just it doesn't work out really well. Either way, the Lions may be an option. I mean, some people have been talking about it. It may be, but from what I've seen, there's rumors for a lot of other teams not named the Detroit Lions. But why would the Lions bring in this guy? Well, to definitely help out their secondary. This guy can play corner a little bit. He can also play some safety. Teams that I have seen that are rumored to be favorites to get him is Philadelphia, Kansas City, Green Bay, Giants, and the Steelers, and even a little bit of the Rams. So I've seen those six teams, really, that were in the running for it, not the Detroit Lions. But the Lions could do this and help improve their secondary. He could play at the safety position. I do like our safety, though. I don't know how much help our, our secondary needs, necessarily. I, I kind of like our secondary. If I'm just going to be 100% honest, I kind of like it. You can always use help. I mean, this is a great player. He's very young. And for the future, he's going to be outstanding. So I can see if you're making this move so that, okay, maybe when Rashawn Melvin's done, you bring this guy up and he's going to be a beast. Maybe, you know what I mean? We got pretty, we got a lot of young talent. I say Rashawn Melvin's probably one of those guys that you could be looking to replace maybe down the road. And that would be Minka. And he could honestly start over him at this point and then he can just move on. But the other problem that we're having is that tackle position. And I really have to talk about this. And I need to hear your guys' thoughts below because I don't know what to do at this point. Terrell Crosby starting at left tackle just doesn't sound great to me. And that's no hate on Terrell Crosby. I'm rooting for you. If you're going to be out there, you are an NFL player. You should play pretty well. I'm not expecting anything crazy great because, you know, you're a backup for a reason. But at the same time, you should just play pretty well. And I am going to the Chargers game. So if any of you guys are going, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to Chargers game this Sunday. I don't really want to see Terrell Crosby out there. We could absolutely get destroyed if he is out there. So right now, I think the move to go get Trent Williams makes sense. And as we know, when teams start, you know, rebuilding or if they're just trading players away, that's when you can get some steals, okay? And as we know, we did that with the Giants, right? The Giants were kind of just getting rid of everybody. And we brought in Stack Saracen for like a perfect deal, like a great deal, a steal for a great player. This could be something that maybe we can do with Trent Williams, maybe not. I don't know. The way though, it doesn't seem like he wants to be in Washington. It doesn't seem like Fitzpatrick. Well, we know Fitzpatrick doesn't even want to be in Miami. So both of these guys, I believe, will be out at some point. It just is. It just depends on where will they go. Now, looking at our offensive line, 
if it's not Terrell Crosby, who is it? Because left guard will be Joe Dahl. He played great, okay? I don't want to hear no talk about that. Frank Ragnall center, right guard, it will be Graham Glasgow, and then the right tackle would be Rick Wagner. Now, who's that left tackle, right? Wiggins is your other option, Kenny Wiggins. Now, Kenny Wiggins is not necessarily known to be a tackle, per se. I mean, that's why he's not listed as a tackle. He's listed as a guard. But if you had to, I guess you could. Again, no, Terrell Crosby is starting there in practice. So I think that tells you where they're leaning towards. But this is what I've been saying, man. Get some depth. And it's not always just to say, okay, get depth so we can get this guy out of here. No, no, no. We need depth because injuries happen just like this one. And having one backup tackle is not good, okay? We just got to bring some people in, I think. I mean, unless there's just nobody out there. But then it, it, it hard, it's hard for me to believe that there's not one one guy you can bring out there, not one free agent. And even if you can't make a trade, make a move to go get another tackle. That's just what I want to see from the Detroit Lions. Right now, I don't even know what to feel. Taylor Decker's not practicing. That's not a good sign. Trade for Trent may be on, okay, guys? Depending on how serious this is, this may be on. And I was a guy, I wasn't worried about Taylor Decker. I'm not worried about Taylor Decker being good enough. I'm not worried about him bouncing back. But if he's hurt, that's a completely different situation. And now we are in a situation where it's going to be Crosby. And if Crosby's a starter, then I'm kind of with the trade for Trent kind of bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I want to hear your guys' thoughts, comments below. What what problem solvers do you guys have? I just need to hear your thoughts. Also, if you're going to the game this weekend, let me know in the comments because uh, we may be able to get a pick real quick before I get down there and start cheering on our Lions to a victory. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'm out.